This guy, look at all the talent. Daniel, mm -hmm. you like sour stuff? Yes. Sour tennis ball gum? That's what we're tasting today. These are the coolest looking things. This is pretty cool, yeah. They look like tiny little tennis balls. I'm gonna uncork this one. Look at that. They, they look like little tiny tennis balls. That's so cool. It actually <laughs> smells kind of like citrusy. Oh, it does. Yeah. I'm gonna take a swing at this. Ooh. Okay. Very chewy. It's a big gumball. Real citrusy. Oh, there's like a, a juicy center. Oh, they weren't kidding about the sour. Oh, there's the sour. Yeah, when you first start, it's like, oh, like a lemony Ooh. kind of gumball. But then you pop that center open. Evening mm. out. Not evening out. It's okay. getting more intense. It's starting to even out a little bit. There's mm -hmm. some sweetness coming back in. It's a lot of flavor. It's got a real consistent flavor to it. Some gum, after you chew it for like 15 seconds, yeah. it's just like flavorless. This ain't no Bazooka Joe. It's a satisfying, substantial chew. I'm moving it back and forth in between my mouth like mm -hmm. a tennis match, and it's just feeling better each time. You get four of these in a tube. I don't think trying all four of them at once, which Daniel's probably gonna do. I got cool in my mouth now. You're gonna be doing the rest of the talking here. There's still quite a bit of flavor, which is really cool because the worst thing about bubble gum is when you like put it in your mouth and you're like, hey, bubble gum, and then the flavor is gone like that. I'm still enjoying this a lot. If you like gum, like good bubble gum, mm -hmm. you like sour, this is for you. If you've got a tennis fan in your life, this would be a really fun gift. I, I might go, I'm gonna go on a limb here. I think this might be some of the best gum I've ever had. He's not wrong. It's good stuff. Check it out, vet19.com. Vet19.com.